Every experience feeds ideas. The actual making of a film is, you know, that's not a particularly complicated process. What makes it interesting is who you are. I set out to make a film about different directors from different cultures and different countries. I discovered that pleasure wasn't a sin. Pleasure was a fantastic thing to communicate to the audience. Things were changing so fast politically that uh, I thought it would be a good idea to try to make documentaries. When you don't have Final Cut, you stand to die the death. Die the death. It's not that sometimes you fail. You just miss to meet the audience. E io ho pensato che avrei voluto pensare ad alta voce attraverso il cinema. Oh, yes, Fassbender. Fellini. Scorsese and Coppola. Se io avessi visto La Nuit des Forains a 12 anni, non sarei mai diventato cineasta. I wanted to try to connect the films to these filmmakers who made them. In, in America, a thing that really interests me is that there are classes and we don't like to talk about it. I can't say zero privilege, you know, I'm a white male in this world. I just, a family had no money, no, you know, none of that. You cannot have an artist's life and be happy and you have to go through a lot of pain and doubt. I always wanted to live the art life. I never wanted to get married. I never wanted to have children. That's not what turned out. They called me the grandmother of the new wave. I went from films on that level to films on that level. Narrative film can have a place in a reckoning with historical events. Have you ever watched American blockbusters? <laughs> I'd rather watch football, to be honest. You feel like, you know, an apple tree is supposed to make apples, you know, and you're supposed to create something which comes out of you, I don't know how, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs>